24 hours removed from Unforgiven tonight here on Raw, the new World Tag Team Champions, Butch and Ridge Holland, the Brawling Brutes, are issuing an open challenge, and they're putting the gold on the line. That's coming up your way tonight on Monday Night Raw. We welcome you inside Green Bay, Wisconsin. And just 24 hours after the Raw exclusive live premiere event, Unforgiven, the road to Clash at the Castle in Cardiff, Wales on October the 22nd begins. Thank you for joining us for what was a raucous weekend through No Mercy on Saturday, Unforgiven last night, but the road never stops and we are back tonight for Monday Night Raw and the A-list superstar The Miz is set to kick things off. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! Well, it's been well documented that The Miz has not had the best luck for months here on Monday Night Raw. When the last time The Miz got his hand raised, I mean, we would have to flip back pages on pages in the record books, but nonetheless, The Miz is back in action tonight and looking to hopefully turn his good luck, or I should say his bad luck, into good luck. All remains to be seen. Let's see if the A-list superstar can put it together, kicking things off once again from a sold-out Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's going to be a great night of action. We thank you for joining us all weekend long. And now back here tonight for Monday Night Raw. Oh, man. And The Miz has got his hands full. Because for the first time since SummerSlam, the prize fighter is back in action. And his opponent from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. Well, the last time we saw Kevin Owens from bell to bell was back in August at SummerSlam, where he fell to the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Kevin Owens taking a few weeks off to rest and recuperate from what was a vicious and vile match back at SummerSlam last month. But Kevin Owens back in action here tonight on Monday Night Raw. The Miz got to be wondering he's going to have what it takes to keep down the prize fighter, who I'm sure is coming to this match highly motivated to turn his luck around as well. Last time we saw him, it was a defeat to the Beast Incarnate. Kevin Owens versus The Miz opening us up here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And it sounds like this Green Bay crowd is firmly behind Kevin Owens. Which is very surprising. I mean, Kevin Owens has been alongside Sami Zayn, two of the X-Factors that have caused absolute chaos on Monday Night Raw for months. Really for the last almost year. Nonetheless, Kevin Owens back here tonight. Of course, Sami Zayn falling short in his pursuit of the Intercontinental Championship last night at Unforgiven. Of course, he wasn't the one pin. That was Cedric Alexander who fell victim to a BFT and the three count by LA Knight. I'm sure Sami Zayn is going to be coming back for another Intercontinental Championship round if he can earn it, but nonetheless, Kevin Owens off the super kick in the Exploder trying to get back into this matchup. And speaking of Brock Lesnar, what about what Brock Lesnar did just 24 hours ago in Chicago and Unforgiven? One of the most brutal steel cage matches in WWE history. A bloodbath in between the confines of the cage. And Brock Lesnar just absolutely decimated Matt Riddle. And from what we understand, Matt Riddle suffered a few injuries throughout that matchup. It might be some time until we see Riddle back on Monday Night Raw. Or oh, remains to be seen, but it's an absolute vicious match 24 hours ago. And of course, all of Unforgiven. And the replay is available right now as well as No Mercy this past Saturday's Cruiserweight Classic, which continues this week. All the replays available right now on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Nice kick right to the chest by The Miz. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, coming your way Sunday night, October the 22nd, we are heading to Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, for the WWE Clash at the Castle. Live premiere event. It's going to be a huge one. Owens takes down The Miz, going for the victory here. Another kick out by the A-list superstar trying to avoid yet another loss. Oh, wait a minute. Stunner by Owens. Well, Miz may be trying to avoid another loss. That doesn't mean he's gonna because Kevin Owens came hell-bent on victory and he secured it tonight. For the first time since SummerSlam last month in Levi Stadium, 
Kevin Owens returning to the red brand ring. And just a few short mi minutes making an impact off that stunner. Here is your winner, Kevin Owens! Well, Kevin Owens back in the win column. It looks fired up to be back on Monday Night Raw. We gotta wonder what is next for the prize fighter. Where does he go from here? A win against The Miz tonight is a start. But after that loss against Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam last month, what is on the horizons for Kevin Owens? Nonetheless, he is back and he is victorious on Monday Night Raw. The next time we come your way with a live premiere event, a special joint production of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. We are going international. Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium. It is WWE Clash at the Castle. And it is coming your way Sunday night, October the 22nd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss this international extravaganza as Raw and SmackDown present Clash at the Castle. We're back live here in Green Bay, Wisconsin on Monday Night Raw. And we are about to be joined inside the squared circle by the new WWE Women's Champion, The Nightmare, Rhea Ripley. Surprising us all showing up at No Mercy on Saturday night and cashing in her Money in the Bank briefcase. It was this past Saturday night at the SmackDown exclusive live premiere event that Shayna Baszler successfully defended her title against Candice LeRae. But it is what happened after the bell, which led Rhea Ripley marching down to the ringside area with her Money in the Bank briefcase in hand, cashing it in and defeating the Queen of Spades to become the new WWE Women's Champion. Of course, that white and gold around the waist of the Eradicator a universal title between Raw and SmackDown. And Rhea Ripley staying in the rules of the Money in the Bank, picking her, absolutely picking her spot to perfection. And even though it was a little bit of a challenge, probably more than she expected against Shayna Baszler, Rhea Ripley capitalizing and becoming the brand new WWE Women's Champion. We have entered the era of the Eradicator here on Monday Night Raw. But tonight, Rhea Ripley, Going one-on-one -on -one with a former NXT Women's Champion and Roxanne Perez, who's been a part of the Red Brand for a couple of months now. Has yet to really get the ball rolling, but maybe tonight can be that absolute occasion that Roxanne Perez takes the next level. That's Luthez on Rhea Ripley. You gotta wonder what's going through the mind of the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Oh, wait a minute. Roxanne going for the cover. With a beautiful twisting moonsault there. Rhea gets the shoulder up. As we were about to mention those, Rhea Ripley, she may have had success on Saturday night, but last night, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the other two members of the Judgment Day, they did not have the same luck losing their tag team titles to Butch and Ridge Holland of the Brawling Brutes. A little bit of a bittersweet weekend for the Judgment Day, but tonight, the Brawling Brutes defend their newly won World Tag Team titles. It is truly gonna be a fight night, as the Brawling Brutes absolutely always promote Open challenge for the tag team titles in tonight's main event. Roxanne Perez looking good so far against the Nightmare and another Luthez press, this time from the middle buckle, getting a little bit of more emphasis on it. Perez is looking good in this, uh, in this matchup against Rhea Ripley. Again, former NXT Women's Champion, that's for good reason. All the tools to be a main star here on Monday Night Raw, but she's gotta start raking up some victories, but Rhea Ripley, hot off the heels of cashing in Money in the Bank, may be absolutely her toughest challenge to date. It's Rhea Ripley in a matter of a moment, just changing the tides of this matchup. Roxanne Perez may regret ever signing on to this match with Rhea Ripley tonight in Green Bay. It's Rhea Ripley, look at this, just taking a moment to soak it in. Rhea's almost taking Roxanne lightly tonight. And she may come back to haunt it. 
Wait a minute. Perez into the bridge. Gonna steal the victory over the champion. Not just yet. But a smart call there by Roxanne to try to take advantage of Rhea Ripley and her back being turned. Perez gonna keep the foot on the gas pedal. A win tonight could easily put Roxanne in line for a future women's championship opportunity against Rhea Ripley. And off the rushing leg sweep, will that do it? No. Roxanne Perez is like a firecracker in that ring tonight. All over Rhea Ripley. Elevated DDT. Big time maneuver. And that may do it. Does she have the champion? Oh, Rhea Ripley. Nice ring awareness by the women's champion. Reaching out and grabbing the ropes. Got to respect the wherewithal of the nightmare right there. Getting out of that DDT predicament. Where she might have been defeated. Reaching out for the ropes. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Oh, man. Ripley, what a maneuver, especially on the smaller competitor. Not enough to get the three count, but the Nightmare showing her agility right there. And Green Bay, Wisconsin appreciating the efforts of these two women tonight. The Nightmare just absolutely coming unglued with that maneuver. Maybe starting to focus in a little bit more. May just be once again taking Roxanne Perez lightly, and I don't think that's the best idea because Perez has given her a fight in this matchup. Rhea Ripley muscling up her challenger tonight. Championship may not be on the line, but Rhea Ripley's gonna fight as if it is. Going for double lariats, Roxanne gets caught up in it. Oh man, ripcord drop kick. So much agility and strength in the arsenal of the Nightmare. Roxanne may have kicked out, but for how much longer? As Rhea Ripley gets going like this, it usually spells disaster for her opponents. As the champion's got her eyes locked, kick to the rib cage, and I think we know what comes next. Rip time! And Rhea going for the cover. It's gonna be two, and it's gonna be three. Well, Rhea Ripley, the brand new WWE Women's Champion. Although Roxanne Perez gave her a fight, the nightmare comes out on the other end, successful yet again. We have truly entered the era of the Eradicator. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. Roxanne Perez will live to fight another day, but there's a locker room full of superstars that would love to get their hands on Rhea Ripley and the WWE Women's Championship. And now that Rhea sits upon the throne of the women's division, who is going to be next to step up and challenge her for the WWE Women's Championship? Over the last five weeks, we have witnessed the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic play out. And the quarterfinals were underway this past Saturday afternoon, but they continue this Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Dominic Mysterio set to go one-on-one -on -one with Johnny Gargano. They fought on the same side of the ring in a losing effort at no mercy. Who's going to get the victory when they go one-on-one? -on -one? And also coming up this Saturday in Manhattan, New York, Monday Night Raw's big strong boy Tyler Bate takes on SmackDown's human highlight reel, Ricochet. There's some history between these two men, and they reignite that rivalry in the quarterfinals of the CWC this Saturday afternoon. We are back inside Green Bay, Wisconsin, and a man who's hot off the heels of a Falls Count Anywhere victory over Sol Sokoa last night, itching already to get back inside the squared circle. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Champa. Well, Tommaso Ciampa putting the nail in the coffin of his rivalry with Sol Sokoa last night in Chicago. A win that I'm sure had to feel good for the Blackheart after everything Sol Sokoa put him through, both figuratively and literally, over the last few months on Monday Night Raw. Ciampa outlasted the worst of it, and last night was able to put Sol Sokoa through a table of his own and get the one, two, three. But tonight, Tommaso Ciampa's back in action against another man who returns to the ring for the first time since SummerSlam, and that is the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. 
Cross was one of four men who competed in the SummerSlam main event for the WWE Championship, alongside Bobby Lashley, John Cena, and the former champion Matt Riddle. Karrion Cross coming up short in his second of two back-to-back -back WWE Championship opportunities. And now that Cross has been lying in wait, ready to come back to the squared circle, I'm sure he is fired up, motivated, and possibly pissed off that that matchup ended the way it did back at SummerSlam last month. But tonight, Karrion Cross has an opportunity to change his momentum. One-on-one -on -one with Tommaso Ciampa, who is obviously, again, coming off that big-time win last night at Unforgiven. Should be very interesting to see who's going to outlast the other and pick up the win. There's some recent history between Cross and Ciampa. They went one-on-one -on -one here on Raw back in July in a matchup that was won by the Harbinger of Doom. Will the result be the same tonight? The Karrion Cross, alongside that Wicked Witch Scarlet, looking as intimidating as ever here on Monday Night Raw. Karrion Cross looks at this matchup as a chance to rise the ranks yet again on the red brand. And after Seth Rollins defeated the WWE, I should say defeated Sheamus to retain the WWE Championship last night, Rollins gonna be awaiting his next challenger, and it could possibly be one of these two men. We'll see who gets the victory, and he continues to push forward here on Monday nights. So to come in your main event, the World Tag Team titles on the line as the Brawling Brutes, Butch and Ridge Holland defend the gold in an open challenge. Who's going to accept that matchup? Try to become the new World Tag Team Champions. And before we get there, Tommaso Ciampa carrying cross. The bell has sounded, and we are underway with this one-on-one -on -one affair. And Karrion Cross immediately out of the gate with the gut wrench. Cross looking to take advantage of Tommaso Ciampa, who I'm sure is not coming into this matchup 100%. After all the back and forth with Sol Sokoa and then the falls kind of anywhere last night. Chances, I'm sure, are still going to be real in a little bit of pain, but it's the first time Cross is seeing action since August the 20th. Almost a month ago at SummerSlam. Obviously coming into this match rested, recuperated 100%, so Karrion Cross most likely in the advantage spot tonight. As Ciampa comes off the middle buckle, big time DDT. Just because Tommaso Ciampa may not be 100% doesn't mean he's not going to fight. We saw it last night against Solo Sokoa, and you see how that ended out. Ciampa with the victory. And going for the victory here against Karrion Cross. Only a two. Karrion Cross not looking to come back to Monday Night Raw and pick up a loss. It's all Kevin Owens' return at the top of the hour, defeating The Miz. Picking up that big time victory. Karrion Cross looking to have the same luck as the prize fighter. But right now, Tommaso Ciampa is all over Karrion Cross. This could be a big win for Ciampa. After the victory last night at Unforgiven against Sol Sokoa, a win against Karrion Cross here could easily put Ciampa in line for a future championship opportunity. Whether that be for Seth Rollins in the WWE title or LA Knight in the Intercontinental Championship remains to be seen, but in hypothetical speaking, this could be a big time matchup for Ciampa to continue to climb the ranks on Raw. Karrion Cross not looking to allow that on his watch. Karrion Cross looking to bring the doomsday, not just to Tommaso Ciampa, but to everybody in the Raw locker room who stands in his way. And this is a man in Karrion Cross was. Very little defeats in his WWE career. Only about a handful, three, maybe four. And just in the last year, Cross has absolutely dominated Monday Night Raw. Looking to get back on track here tonight against Ciampa and remind everybody that he is still the Harbinger of Doom. Ciampa going for the suplex. Cross gets on his feet. And a lariat right to the back of the neck. This is where Cross becomes dangerous. So much grounded and pounded and carrying crosses. Offense, absolutely. We'll take you to the ground. We'll just use those forearms, those strikes, those closed fists, or in that case, a high knee. Use every part of his body to inflict damage on his opponent's body. The champ are not going to allow that, especially on the outskirts of the ring where everything just gets a little bit more dangerous. Oh, man, and Champa throwing cross right into the ring post. Cross a little bit dazed, and Chimp off the apron with a knee of his own. 
If Cross was dazed, that knee ain't gonna help him. Tommaso Ciampa looking to completely scramble the eggs of Karrion Cross, at least long enough to secure the three count. Back inside the ring, Karrion Cross trying to take advantage of the distance. Ciampa says otherwise. Oh, wait a minute. Project Ciampa! Down goes Karrion Cross into the cover. Only at two, but a close call by the black card of Monday Night Raw. Tommaso Ciampa catching Cross and. Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, that wicked witch Scarlet at ringside. We have seen this on plenty of occasions in the past. Her taking the eye off the ball of Karrion Cross's opponent and allowing him to get back in control. As we just saw right there, Tommaso Ciampa could have been nearing victory. Ciampa on spaghetti legs. Wait a minute, Karrion Cross going for that straight jacket. Submission hold. Cross has defeated Chip in the past. Looking to do it again. Tap him out. Pass him out. By any means necessary here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. But Chippa throws a mean elbow to break the hold. And a big time elevated lariat. Oh, and again, Scarlett, I believe she's up on the apron now. A little bit out of our vantage point. It allows Karrion Cross to get to his feet. Trying to take advantage of a distracted Blackheart. There's a forearm. Nothing fancy about it. Nothing pretty about it either. Just absolutely decimating Tommaso Ciampa, or at least trying to. So far, so good. And the stops into the chest. With Ciampa not coming to this match 100% tonight, Cross obviously seeing some targets. Now wait a minute. Doomsday Saido to Tommaso Ciampa. And that could be all she wrote. Cross into the cover. No, Ciampa gets the shoulder up just before the three count. Close call, but Tommaso Ciampa survives. Karrion Cross laser focused on the opponent. Go for the straight jacket again. Nobody home. Wait a minute, Ciampa might have caught him. Fairy tale ending. Ciampa's going to pick up another big time victory. Not just yet as Karrion Cross gets the shoulder up. Things are picking up in this one-on-one -on -one meeting. A Scarlet trying to get involved, Champa not having it. Champa looking to get two wins in the last 24 hours. First against Sol Sokoa, now against Karrion Cross. Will Karrion Cross, however, get back into this fight? Oh, wait a minute, another kick. Champa's going for the kill. A second fairy tale ending. Into the cover. And Tommaso Ciampa picks up a huge win here on Monday Night Raw. Well, first solo of Sokoa last night at Unforgiven. And now tonight on Raw, Tommaso Ciampa with a big time victory over the returning Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. Ciampa making some noise here on the Red Brand. Here is your winner, Tommaso Ciampa. Ciampa is becoming a disruptor here on Monday Night Raw. And that man could be next in line for some future championship opportunities. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Champa. Watch your back as Karrion Cross coming from behind. The match is over, but Karrion Cross infuriated in defeat. Oh no, and I'm throwing Champa right into the steel steps. Karrion Cross return gets spoiled by the black heart, and he just made Champa pay for it. Laid out is the man who won the battle, but he may not have won a new war. The next time we come your way with a live premiere event, a special joint production of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night Smackdown, we are going international. Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium. It is WWE Clash at the Castle. And it is coming your way Sunday night, October the 22nd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Don't miss this international extravaganza as Raw and SmackDown present Clash at the Castle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, earlier today, Sheamus took to X and had this to say. Seth Rollins, you may have won the battle, but the war isn't over yet. You made one mistake, you left me standing.
I'll be back next week, and I'm ready to keep on fighting until I get my payback and take your WWE Championship. Sheamus obviously discussing the events of Unforgiven last night, coming up short in his pursuit of the WWE title against the visionary Seth Rollins, who in fact took to X as well earlier today to respond to Sheamus, and he said, you're right, I did make a mistake. I won the match, but I didn't finish the job of ending your career. You want another round? My terms, my stipulation. Next week, run the gauntlet, my gauntlet. And if you survive, I'll give you one more chance to soak in my spotlight. Seth Rollins alluding to some kind of gauntlet matchup for Sheamus to run through next week. And seemingly, if Sheamus earns the victory, he's going to get another opportunity at the WWE Championship at Seth freaking Rollins. And that is going to go down next week as part of the season premiere edition of Monday Night Raw, the first Raw of the fall season. It will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time next Monday night. But who is Seth Rollins going to line up for the Celtic Warrior Sheamus? And how many superstars is it going to be? How will Sheamus be able to outlast what I'm sure is going to be Absolute boulder after boulder in his way to get to Seth Rollins. And also come your way next week at the season premiere of Raw. It is a fatal four-way matchup to determine the number one contender for LA Knight's Intercontinental Championship. Apollo Crews, Kofi Kingston, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Tyler Bate next week on the season premiere. It is time for your main event here in Green Bay, Wisconsin on Monday Night Raw. We'll get a load of this. Look who is accepting the open challenge of the Brawling Brutes. Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, Pretty Deadly, former NXT United Kingdom champions, former NXT Tag Team champions. And it looks like they have making their way to Monday Night Raw. Well, this has got to be a throw-off from Butch and Ridge Holland. I don't think they were expecting a team who, at least up until, I guess, right now, hasn't been a part of the Monday Night Raw brand. Well, that is absolutely shocking to see, to say the least, but definitely a huge challenge for Butch and Ridge Holland here tonight. They're hot off the heels of that matchup last night at Unforgiven taking down Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. But nonetheless, Kit Wilson on your left, Elton Prince on your right. And these two men, pretty deadly, looking to have a successful Monday Night Raw debut and win the World Tag Team Championships in their pursuit. Well, this is gonna be a great matchup. Very charismatic team, very entertaining team and certainly a team who has a mean streak inside of the ring. The reasons why they have been tag team champions in the years past. As we mentioned, former NXT UK tag champs winning the gold down in Orlando as well. But could they be adding the WWE World Tag Team titles to their already impressive resume upon their Monday Night Raw debut? Remains to be seen here in tonight's main event in Green Bay. But here comes the new WWE World Tag Team Champions. Butch, Ridge Holland, the Brolic Brutes. It is fight night here on Raw. It was certainly a hard fought battle 24 hours ago in Chicago against Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. A team that the Brolic Brutes have had issues with for months but they finally got the last laugh and walked out of the Allstate Arena 24 hours ago with some new pieces of hardware that are now around their waist. Ridge the Fridge, the protege of Sheamus, the bruiserweight butch who's held championship gold in the past. But now these two men sport the gold of the tag team division and already right back into the fight as they love. Ready to put the gold on the line here in your main event of Monday Night Raw, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Let's send things down to your ring for your official pre-match introductions. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the World Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 357 pounds. 
Ken Wilson and Elton Prince. Pretty deadly. And their opponents at a combined weight of 458 pounds. They are the World Tag Team Champions, Ridge Holland and Butch, the Brawling Brutes. Well, here we go. The stage is set for your main event. The WWE World Tag Team titles are on the line. Hot off their win at Unforgiven last night, it could be a short reign for the Brawling Brutes, but this is what they wanted. The open challenge issued by the champions, ready to fight and defend the gold against the debuting Pretty Deadly. Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, Ridge Holland, and Butch. This is going to be a good one in your Monday Night Raw main event. Kit Wilson kicking things off with Ridge the Fridge in this matchup. At least for the time being, because already a tag to the Bruiserweight Butch as Brawling Brutes looking to inflict a little bit of tag team duo action as Butch comes off the middle buckle, dropping the axe hammer. Talked about it last night, talked about it again. So hard to defeat a guy like Butch inside of that ring. He'll pick you apart limb by limb, bone by bone. That's why they call him the Bruiserweight. And it was that final bitter end to Finn Balor last night that secured the three count to win the World Tag Team titles. Kit Wilson trying to get back into this matchup. Not looking to have a unsuccessful Monday Night Raw debut as the tag is made to Elton Prince. Pretty deadly looking to come out the victors tonight and what a debut it could be here on the red brand for Pretty Deadly who saw an opportunity and decided to take it. Imagine coming in on your debut night and taking down two of the toughest competitors in the Monday Night Raw locker room and dethroning them of their newly won championship gold. Could be a banner evening for Pretty Deadly. Remember what we found out moments ago, the leader of the Brawling Brutes, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. He wants another round with Seth Rollins. Rollins has agreed, but only if Sheamus can survive a gauntlet match next week on the season premiere of Monday Night Raw. How many superstars is it gonna be? Who is Seth Rollins gonna choose? All things that remain to be seen, but if Sheamus can win all the matches in the gauntlet match and survive on the other end, Rollins has guaranteed him a future WWE Championship opportunity once again. Season premiere of Monday Night Raw will be a live premiere event. It's coming your way at 5 p.m. Eastern time next Monday night from Manchester, New Hampshire. Also coming your way next week, we're going to determine the new number one contender for LA Knight's Intercontinental Championship Fatal 4-Way match. Apollo Crews, Shinsuke Nakamura, Tyler Bate, and Kofi Kingston. Remember Kofi Kingston taking Seth Rollins to the limit a number of weeks ago. Always had the WWE Champion beat. Next week could be the opportunity that propels Kofi Kingston back into the championship picture here on Monday Night Raw. I wonder how Tyler Bate's going to be coming into that matchup just 48 hours after he fights Ricochet this Saturday afternoon in the Cruiserweight Classic quarterfinals. It'll be Shinsuke Nakamura's first match back since prior to SummerSlam. From we understand, he took a few weeks off to rest and recuperate some naggy injuries, but the King of Strong Style will be back next week. And Apollo Crews, a man who has had chances to become the Intercontinental Champ in the past, they slipped him through their fingers. But Apollo Crews looking to capitalize on what could be a final chance at the Intercontinental title. Both those big time matches and more come your way live next week. Monday Night Raw season premiere. First Raw of the fall season. Elton Prince back into this matchup alongside Ridge the Fridge Holland. And pretty deadly known to showboat a little bit, but they got to realize who they are in there with tonight. A brawling Bruce who will take advantage of a distracted Elton Prince and Kit Wilson if need be. As Prince goes behind, a couple of sharp elbows to the lower back of Rich Holland. Goes for the elbow strike, Ridge avoids it. These two guys do have a mean streak about them, that being pretty deadly. Very flamboyant, very out there. Big time egos for sure. When it comes from bell to bell, we cannot knock the efforts of pretty deadly. There's a reason they have held championships in the past. First in NXT UK, then coming to the America in Orlando, Florida to win the championships down in the black and gold brand. And they're looking to win the titles upon their Monday Night Raw debut tonight. So now Kit Wilson on top and Alex against it as he sees Rich Holland gets back to his feet. Not looking to go high risk for no reward that time. But oh man, a cheap shot on Butch. Why he was at it. And he's able to knock Rich Holland down. 
Pretty deadly or smart. It could be a very successful night for those two men, but Rich Holland looking to say otherwise. Especially after the events of last night, obviously it was a great night for Ridge and Butch, not so much for their third man of the Brawling Brutes, that being the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, who has left a bloody mess inside of the ring. After his fight with Seth Rollins in an absolute classic main event and unforgiven for the WWE Championship. It would be a very unfortunate night in the Brawling Brutes locker room if Butch and Ridge Holland lose the tag team titles in an open challenge they issued just 24 hours after Unforgiven, but remains to be seen. As Rich Holland gut wrench, down goes Kit Wilson into the cover to retain the tag team titles. Elton Prince has got something to say about that. You better watch as he's in brawling Bruce territory inside of the ring. I think Bush just set him for a ride out of the ring as Rich Holland with the backbreaker. It is fight night every single time Ridge and Butch enter the room. It speaks volumes. Not only of their character, of their attitude, but of their willingness to be defending champs. After such a hard fought match last night in Chicago, coming back tonight on Raw and immediately issuing the open challenge tonight in Green Bay. Elton Prince out of the picture right now, thanks to Bush and Kip Wilson getting sent right back into Brawling Brutes territory. Tag made to the Bruiserweight Butch. Now, once again, going to the well with what works, dropping the axe hammer for a second time. Impressive as ever is the Brawling Brutes. I'm sure the Judgment Day, who lost the tag team titles last night, have got their eyes on this matchup. I'm sure Damian Priest and Finn Balor would love to get another opportunity to win back the goal. Down goes Kit Wilson by the Bruiserweight into the cover. Not just yet, almost retaining the tag team titles, but Elton Prince in there to break it up at the last second. Elton rolling to the outside, excuse me, Kit Wilson rolling to the outside, trying to create some distance, but you're really not going to get that look when you're in Brawling Brutes territory in the second half of the ring. Back inside the squared circle we go. Pretty Deadly knows they can't win the titles via count out or anything of the such. This is smart by Butch right now. I don't know if he's trying to take a minute to, to breathe. Obviously may not be 100% coming into this matchup because of the Judgment Day meeting last night. Trying to take care of Kit Wilson and Elton Prince, all the while trying to keep the fatigue at a low, if can be. They have come back to haunt the Bruiserweight, though. This whole decision to issue the open challenge may come back to haunt the Brawling Brutes. Nice tag team maneuver by Pretty Deadly as Elton Prince now eyeing up the Bruiserweight. And wait a minute! Going for Butch's own maneuver! A bitter end to the man who delivers it the best. And he almost won the tag team titles and how that would have stung for the Brawling Brutes. Elton Prince was watching Butch's match with Seth Rollins a few weeks ago on Raw. Saw Seth Rollins use the bitter end against Butch. Decided to try the same, the same fate. Obviously able to land the maneuver, but not enough to keep the man who delivers it the best down. Oh, and a big time Saito by one half of the world tag team champions. Into the cover, but he's in pretty deadly country on that half of the ring. Elton Prince trying to get back into this matchup now as we start to swing back and forth with the pencil of momentum between pretty deadly and the brawling brutes. Nice collar and elbow. Taking Butch into the corner. Tag me, what has pretty deadly got in mind here? Oh man, elevated rib breaker on Butch. Big time maneuver by these two tasty snacks and there's a big time lariat. Kit Wilson to win the tag team titles, but not just yet. Ridge Holland avoiding what could be a yes boy kind of night here on Monday Night Raw. Oh, wait a minute, Kit not watching his ring awareness. Ridge Holland taking care of him. Avoiding the high-risk maneuver. Oh, but Butch was too dazed to capitalize. Or wait a minute, may have spoke too soon. Couple of shots to the rib cage, and Butch trying to get back into this. Mookie flip. And a great tag team title match we have tonight in your main event here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Hot off the heels of a very exciting and exhausting weekend, but the ball, keep, ball keeps on rolling here on Monday Night Raw on the road to the season premiere next week and clash at the castle near the end of October. 
Back inside the Brawling Brutes corner. Tag made the ridge to Fridge Holland. Double team on Kit Wilson and what a elevated ride that Wilson just went on by hands of the Brutes. Reversal there, wait a minute, oh, big time. Spine buster variation. Ridge Holland kicks out, but I, you know, I believe we see Ridge Holland hit that maneuver in recent matches as well, so that might have been another trick out of the book of Pretty Deadly. Trying to use the maneuvers of the Brawling Brutes against him. Obviously doing damage, but not enough to secure the three count. Now Ridge sends Wilson into the ropes. There's the strength, and there's the reason they call him Ridge the Fridge. And what a overhead throw. Holland starting to come unglued into the cover. Oh, but Elton Prince breaking it up again. Almost had the tag team titles retained. Oh, wait a minute, Ridge Holland. Tired of having to deal with two. Looking to break this down to a handicap match. A shout out to his mentor, Sheamus. Ten beats of the boundary. But Kit Wilson coming from behind to steal the titles, not just yet. Now Wilson hopping up at the top rope. What has he got in mind here? Oh, we're not able to capitalize in enough time as Ridge Holland's right there to take advantage. Superplex! What great strength by Holland. Green Bay, Wisconsin, an appreciation of these two tag teams. And down goes Wilson again. Into the cover. And the Rolling Brutes retain the tag team titles of the world. We gotta give credit where credit's due. Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, pretty deadly impressive in their Monday Night Raw debut. But the tag team championships might be a little farther away than they desire as Ridge and Butch are just getting started. The Brawling Brutes looking sharp. The Judgment Day last night, pretty deadly tonight. Ridge Holland and Butch securing their spot at the top of the World Tag Team Division. Whether it's teams from Raw or teams from SmackDown, I'm sure Ridge and Butch have no problem issuing fight night anywhere the fight goes. Thank you for joining us tonight in Green Bay, and we will see you live at 5 p.m. Eastern time next Monday night for the season premiere of Monday Night Raw. Game day song when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.